Did you know that a baby kangaroo is only about one inch tall when it's born? Now, that's a bizarre beginning, if ever there was one. These tiny wonders, known as joeys, aren't much larger than a grape when they first enter the world. But they're not done growing, not by a long shot. In a unique twist of nature, kangaroos continue their development outside the womb. As soon as a joey is born, it crawls into its mother's pouch. This warm, secure environment serves as a second womb of sorts, where the joey grows and matures until it's ready to face the world on its own. It's a unique trait among mammals, with few others sharing this remarkable biological feature. But that's just the start of what makes kangaroos so fascinating. Stick around to hop into more amazing facts. Now, moving on to what these creatures eat, you'd be surprised. Kangaroos, those adorable hoppers from down under, are herbivores. Now that's a fancy term for critters that eat plants. But what's fascinating about kangaroos is that they don't just nibble on any plant that crosses their path. Nope, they're a bit pickier than that. They have a particular soft spot for grasses. Yes, you heard right. Those lush green blades that we often overlook are the main course in a kangaroo's meal. But don't let that fool you into thinking they're one-trick ponies. Kangaroos have quite the diverse palate. Besides grasses, they also munch on leaves, ferns, flowers, and even some types of moss. So, while they may have their favorites, they're certainly not opposed to mixing things up a bit. You might be wondering, how do they manage to eat all these different types of plants? Well, that's where their specialized teeth come into play. You see, kangaroos have sharp incisors at the front of their mouths that they use to snip off the grass or leaves. Then, they have molars at the back that are perfect for grinding up the plant material. It's like they have their very own built-in pair of scissors and a food processor. But that's not all. Kangaroos also have a unique stomach that helps them get the most out of their meals. This specialized stomach allows them to ferment the plant material, breaking it down into nutrients they can use. And let's not forget this fermentation process also helps them to survive in areas where food may be scarce. So there you have it. Kangaroos, with their love for grasses and their unique eating habits, are quite the fascinating herbivores. They've adapted perfectly to their environment, making the most of the resources available to them. So, next time you're munching on a salad, spare a thought for our grass-loving friends, the kangaroos. Ever heard of a boxing kangaroo? Well, you're about to find out why that's a thing. When you think of kangaroos, boxing probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind. But in the world of these marsupials, it's a serious business. Male kangaroos, or boomer as they're often called, have a unique behavior that involves a bit of fisticuffs. They box each other to establish dominance or to catch the attention of a female. Now this isn't just any slapdash match. It's a tactical display of physical prowess and strategic movement. Male kangaroos use their smaller front arms to jab at their opponent, while their powerful hind legs serve two purposes. They act as a sturdy base, keeping the kangaroo upright during the bout, and they can also deliver a powerful kick if the boxing match escalates. These boxing matches can look quite intense, but they're not always about brute strength. In fact, they're often about strategy and endurance. A kangaroo might try to tire out his opponent with quick jabs, or he might go for a surprise attack with a sudden kick. It's a bit like a dance, albeit a rather aggressive one. And what's the prize for winning one of these bouts? Well, it's all about status and mating rights. A victorious male kangaroo gains dominance over the group, and with it, the attention of the females. The ladies, it seems, are quite attracted to a champion boxer. But remember, this isn't an endorsement for violence. In the kangaroo world, these boxing bouts are a natural part of their social structure. They help maintain order and balance within the group. And while it might look a bit rough to us, it's just another day in the life of a kangaroo. So in the kangaroo world, it's not just about hopping around, it's also about boxing bouts. Now let's take a virtual trip to the home of the kangaroos. Fasten your seatbelts. Australia, a country of contrasts and a smorgasbord of landscapes. This is where kangaroos have made their home, and oh what a home it is. From the golden grasslands and the arid deserts to the lush forests, kangaroos have adapted to thrive in an array of environments across this vast continent. It may seem odd at first glance, a hopping creature in a land where the elements are so varied, but the kangaroo's powerful legs and long feet are a marvel of nature's design, perfectly suited to these diverse habitats. 
Like a spring-loaded wonder, their legs allow them to cover great distances in the expansive grasslands, hopping along at an average speed of around 20 miles per hour and reaching up to 40 miles per hour when they need to hustle. In the deserts, their long feet help distribute their weight, preventing them from sinking into the sandy terrain. Their hopping gait is also energy efficient, a crucial trait when food and water are scarce. They've even been known to dig for water in dry riverbeds during particularly tough times. But kangaroos aren't just desert dwellers or grassland gallivanters. They've also adapted to the dense forests of Eastern Australia. In these leafy habitats, they use their sturdy tails for balance, navigating the undergrowth and hopping between patches of open ground. In each of these environments, kangaroos have found a way to survive and thrive. They've taken the challenges that Australia's landscapes have thrown at them and hopped right over them. Indeed, the kangaroo's adaptability is a testament to the resilience of nature. From the heat of the deserts to the cool of the forests, from the flat grasslands to the hilly terrains, kangaroos have a knack for making themselves at home. This is their habitat, their playground, their stage. From wide open spaces to dense forests, kangaroos sure know how to pick a home. But it's not all bouncing fun and games for kangaroos. They face some serious challenges too. There's more to a kangaroo's life than just hopping around in the Australian outback. They're up against some pretty tough odds, and it's high time we talked about it. One of the most pressing issues kangaroos face today is habitat loss. As human populations expand, we're encroaching into kangaroo territories, leaving them with less and less space to call home. Urban development, agriculture, and deforestation are all contributing to a shrinking habitat for our bouncy friends. And then there's hunting. You might be surprised to learn that kangaroos are hunted, both legally and illegally. Whether it's for their meat, their fur, or simply because they're seen as pests, the result is the same, a declining kangaroo population. But don't lose hope just yet. There are conservation efforts underway to protect these amazing creatures and their habitats. Organizations like the Australian Wildlife Conservancy and the World Wildlife Fund are working tirelessly to conserve kangaroo populations. They're buying up land to create safe habitats, running anti-poaching campaigns and advocating for stronger laws to protect kangaroos. And it's not just about the big organizations. Local communities across Australia are also stepping up. They're planting native vegetation to restore kangaroo habitats, installing wildlife-friendly fences, and even setting up kangaroo sanctuaries. Education is another crucial part of conservation. The more we understand about kangaroos, the better equipped we are to protect them. So researchers are studying kangaroo behavior, diet, and breeding patterns, all in an effort to keep these creatures hopping along happily. There's a lot to be done and every little bit helps. Whether it's supporting a conservation organization, advocating for wildlife-friendly policies, or simply spreading the word about the plight of kangaroos, we all have a role to play. So let's do our part to ensure these amazing creatures continue to bounce around for generations to come. Well, we've hopped through some interesting facts about kangaroos today. We've explored the bizarre beginnings of a kangaroo's life, where joeys, smaller than a cherry, make a great journey into their mother's pouch. We've delved into their diet, discovering how these creatures can survive in harsh climates on a diet of grasses and shrubs. We've examined their unique boxing behavior, a fascinating sight of kangaroos using their tails for balance while trading blows with their forepaws. We've also leaped into their habitats, understanding how kangaroos thrive in the rugged landscapes of Australia. Lastly, we've touched upon the importance of kangaroo conservation, reminding ourselves that we share this planet with these fascinating creatures and it's our responsibility to protect them. Now we're curious, if you could be any animal for a day, which would you choose and why? Drop your answers in the comments below. And remember, keep bouncing through life just like our kangaroo friends.